Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Randy and this is RP Tactical. Today we got the brand new Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 2.0. But before we get into this, I would really like to ask you guys to please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment, share the video. All that stuff really helps me out. I don't get donations, I don't get sponsors, nothing is sent to me. So your support really goes a long way and helps me out a lot. It doesn't cost you a thing but it goes a long way for me. Now, with that out of the way, I would like to thank today's sponsors, My Wallet. This is brought to you by My Wallet because it's always in my back pocket. It's right where I need it when I gotta pay for shit. And I would also like to thank my wife for not kicking my ass every time I come home with a new gun. Now, let's get on to the video. Yeah, so I am so excited to have the Bodyguard 2.0. For the longest while, I wanted a pocket gun. I've always wanted a pocket gun since I started carrying and I got my permit to carry. Um, I tried out all the competition out there. I tried the original Bodyguard 380. I tried the SIG 365, the Glock G42, the LCP, LCP Max, all that stuff. I tried out, I felt, uh, I held it. it. It just wasn't my cup of tea. It wasn't tickling all the boxes for me. It didn't tickle my fancy. There was just something always wrong. It was never feeling like I was comfortable with it. The, the Ruger, forget about it. The LCP original, it was just way too small. I, I wasn't comfortable carrying that stupid little thing. It was If you have it and you like it, that's great. For me, I could not carry that thing. I would not feel comfortable with my life being um, dependent on that small gun. Not because I didn't think 380 was enough. 380 is more than enough to stop a threat or protect your life. Um, I'm just saying the way it felt, I was not comfortable with going in my pocket, pulling that out and being able to, to protect myself with it. The Glock 42, I would just keep thinking like, man, I wish Glock would come out with a G42X. The same way they did with the G43X, how they extended the grip and the handle. I wish they would have done that because it's just too short. And then I was leaning towards the LCP Max, the Ruger LCP Max, but I'm glad I didn't. You know, I, I, I know that's been the leading top-notch go-to pocket gun for a long time and it's definitely stand, stand it out above the rest for a long time, but it's... I don't know. It just didn't feel good enough for me because it didn't really have a beaver tail come up like this. It, it had a, a little notch that came around and it, it just didn't feel right. To me, it didn't feel right in my hands. Nothing really felt right. But I was leaning towards that because it was um, better than the rest in my opinion. But I'm glad that I didn't because they came out with this. It's like they took everything. Smith & West took everything from all those other competition pocket pistol guns. Took it back to the drawing boards, removed all of the negatives, came up with all the perfect little solutions, and got this. It's like, I don't know, this is like a perfect micro gun. It's like the Shield and Shield Plus had a baby, and this is what popped out. That's the vibes that I'm getting because it feels so great. It's a really nice feeling gun in my hand. And like I, I don't have the biggest hand. I have like medium-sized hands. I don't have the biggest hands like like um, Rod or Average Joe. Shout out to Rod and Average Joe, man. Two great guys. Um, Irod808 is his channel. Average Joe is his channel. You can check those guys out. I'll put links in the description below to their channels. Go check them out. Rod is a super cool, humble guy. Um, he's a Marine, military. He's a law enforcement. He's an active police officer. Just a great, humble, cool guy. Check his videos out. He's got some cool shit coming. I spoke to him. He's got some really cool content coming out. So check him out. And um, same with Average Joe. Anyway, back to this, man. I don't have the biggest hands, but you can see how this fits in my hand. It looks like this is hanging off, but it's on there. It's on. I have to pull it down like this to get it off. It's on there. It's a great grip. It feels, it feels really good in my hand. It's a good feeling gun. Um, the stippling, the work that they put into this gun shows that they really care and they put everything in consideration because the stippling is not just in the front here and the back here. 
it's right here as well. It's more aggressive in the back, more aggressive in the front, but it's still stippled here for a great purchase on this gun. As you can see, my hand feels great there. The memory pads here, and then your support finger. All of, all of this stuff, these pads are all stippled, which is, is really good. You need this kind of stuff because it gives you a better purchase on the gun. When you're ready to fire, you shouldn't be worrying about where should my thumb go and or should I hold it here and all that stuff. It gives you a place to put that. Bam, you're good to go. Speaking about all the stippling, all the little details right here. Oh, that's sorry. I forgot to mention, of course, it's unloaded. I checked all of my firearms before I start filming. But yeah, all the stippling here on top of this takedown lever, all the serrations here on your slide lock, even this back here. This is a safety. Mine does come with a safety. Some of them that does not come with a safety, you have the option of buying one with or without. This is the only one that they had in stock, the very last one, and I'm happy with it. I know a lot of people don't like safeties on guns and, and stuff like that. To each his own, I really like this, especially being in my pocket. With this trigger being as beautiful as it is, it's a great trigger. It's just so much stuff that could go wrong. I don't want to take any chances, guys. I'm happy with having a safety on my pocket gun. This is going to be in my pocket, you know shit happens so i'm happy with this the safety is ambi is ambidextrous on both sides as well as the mag release which is stippled by the way could be um removed and turned to the opposite side on this side for your left-handed shooters as well as well as your right-handed shooter so it's, it's just great man these the stippling job that they did on this was amazing even the sights back here there's serrations on your rear sights you have a tritium orange glow front sight, which is great. I don't know if you'll pick that up. Yeah, there it is. This is um, semi-U-notched, and it just lines up good. It's just, it's just a, a nice-looking gun. They, do, they really did do some thought when they uh, created this. The serrations on the top, in the front and the side and the back, as well as it comes up in a 45-degree to the top on both sides, as you can see there. It's just good, man. It's amazing. It's really good. I'm so glad that they came out with this because I've been looking for a gun like this. It's just a compact um, micro gun. That's what it is. It, it doesn't make me get any kind of crazy 1940 vibes or like some of those other options that's out there. It just feels like this just so outdated. They're, the way they're built, the way they look, their aesthetics, this just... It's just a micro gun, and that's what I was looking for. This beaver tail rides up really high, really high. The bore axle is so low that I don't anticipate having much recoil. I mean, it's a 380. You're not going to have much recoil from a 380, but even with that bore axle being up the way it is, the way they built it, I don't anticipate any kind of recoil. I mean, you're going to have some recoil, but I don't anticipate much uh is is a wonderful gun I, i'm i'm really happy with it it is chambered in 380 you have a 10 round magazine as well as a 12 round mag so even with the 10 plus one you have 11 rounds there it, my hands are great if it's if it's good i'm happy with this but if you have much larger hands you might need this it just gives you that much more purchase on the firearm itself. All right. So, but that's it. That's what's in the box. You got these two mags. You have your pistol. You've got this. Got some stickers and the booklet. A little chamber flag. As well as the almighty lock. So you, you don't have a great um, presentation here. They didn't give you any kind of case, soft case, hard case, anything like that. But who cares? I picked up this gun for four hundred and forty dollars, four eighty out the door. So at four forty, I've seen this gun from three ninety nine all the way up to four ninety nine. So at four forty, I was very happy. I'm telling you right now, guys, this is going to lead the market as one of the best guns. In 2024, this is going to be, right now, I'm letting you know right now, this is going to be the number one pick, the best pocket pistol gun 
in the market. It's going to blow everything else out of the water. It's just that good. It's just that good. Now, I haven't fired it yet. I haven't taken it down to the range or live fired. I've been doing some dry fire here and there throughout the house and in the backyard and stuff. Just dry firing for the last two days since I've had it. But I'm telling you, I don't think I'll be disappointed. It feels great. If it shoots as good, then I am over the moon. I am just so excited with this gun. It's just everything that I'm looking for in a pocket pistol. That trigger, look at that trigger. That trigger is just a beautiful trigger to fit on a small gun like this. You know, like I keep saying, man, the thought process that went into this is good, man. It's just, it's just really good. The takedown lever, you need this stuff to assist you to make uh, your life easier. All this stuff to take this apart and even back here with the safety all that stuff is good. Let's take a look at that trigger real quick. Look, no mush. You don't have any mush. You have a slow creep, crisp break, very audible, slow, low reset. Oh, I am happy with this. I am so happy with this. This is a this is a great gun. This is exactly what I was looking for. I'm so glad that I held out. I'm so glad that I held out because this is everything that I'm looking for in a pocket pistol. It's it's just a great gun. It's just a great gun in my opinion. It might not be for you, but I do suggest that if you're looking for a pocket pistol, matter of fact, this doesn't even have to be a pocket pistol. This is going to be my pocket pistol. But you could have this as your primary firearm. You could have this as a service backup. What, whatever it is that you're looking for. If you're a smaller frame and you don't have big hands and you want something that's small and compact and easy to grip and hold. Uh, ladies out there, this will be great to fit in your purse or, or um, you know, guys that walk around with the 945 bags, the chest rig, fanny packs, stuff like that. That's not for me. I don't like that. I'm not comfortable with that stuff, but for a pocket pistol, I am over the moon with this. This is just a great, great gun. The purchase that you get on this, the feel of it is is just really good. I can't wait to take it out to the range and send some rounds down. Uh, I don't anticipate me being um, let down at all. I mean, shout out to Smith & Wesson, man. Over the last couple of years, their collection has just been amazing they've done a great job with putting out firearms for the last couple of years and this is no exception this is just beautiful and like i said i'm calling it right now this is going to be everybody's go-to shout out to the lcp uh max i know that ran number one supreme for the last decade or however long it's been out but it's a new king and this is it bodyguard 2.0 amazing amazing gun guys one thing i will mention um i did load it up this is empty this is empty but i did load it up yesterday off camera while messing around with it and getting that 10th round in there it's really stiff it's really stiff matter of fact everything is really stiff as of right now the slide lock is really stiff the Safety is really stiff. Everything's got to get broken into. I'm sure after a month or so while shooting it and firing out of it, everything will loosen up. As of right now, it's just really stiff. And um, that's just what it is. I'm just giving you guys a heads up. Uh, loading up that 10th round, your thumbs is going to hurt. I suggest you use a mag loader to make the process a little easier. And just to give you a little quick comparison, this right here is clear all right there's no mag i took out the mag but this right here is my edc this is my primary edc which i love the x macro this is my gun this is always on me this is on my hip but for the time that i can't carry this whether i'm in sweatpants or i'm in joggers or basketball shorts or whatever or i'm running down the block to uh pick up the kids from the bus stop or whether I'm playing basketball with my son or whatever the case is, I just want to throw something in the pocket. This is just too heavy and big to go into my pocket. This will fit the need that I need it for. Um, like I said, quick little comparison. This is my EDC. 
and this is the new one so much smaller look at that this will be perfect you know just giving you an example if you're running to the grocery store you're you're running out to go pick up something from whatever wherever and you're in sweatpants or you're in joggers you're in basketball shorts you don't want to have to go upstairs go in your closet pull out a pair of jeans put on a belt just to have this in your waist nah grab this make sure it's good put that safety on throw it in your pocket you're good to go that's 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 my take on it and that's the primary reason why i love this gun and i wanted to get a pocket pistol because it's so, oh my god but there goes your comparison i know a lot of people um well some people like the x macro i know there's a lot of uh sig haters out there but my boy jason jason i know you have your macro this is for us people that love sig and love the x macro a little comparison just to show you the size difference all right well like i said guys thank you for your time please hit that like hit that subscribe button leave me a comment stay blessed stay safe i'll catch you in the next one peace out